video. 205 Live and NXT. And of course, we're going to talk about 205 Live first because that was on first. Yep, it's always on first. <laughs> Whatever, right? Yeah. So. Sound like NXT would be first. That'd be weird if they did switch it. I wonder, like, because they put 205 Live on Wednesdays because they had to because of the mixed challenge. I wonder once the mixed challenge is over, they can put it back on Wednesdays. Mm. Um, at Tuesdays. Oh, let's keep it. They should keep it on Wednesdays. It's gonna. It's fun to do too. Um. But anyway, start off 205 Live. You got Buddy Murphy. He's coming out with his belt. He's talking, saying, "Welcome to his 205 Live." And Tim's then boyfriend. Yeah, and then he's yapping about something else, but didn't really pay attention. Then he goes. Then he goes to the match. And he's his part, and his. Person he is sitting in the corner for Tony Count My Abs niece comes out because he is going against Noam Dar. Oh boy, can't stand either of them. Don't really like Noam Dar, and I don't like Tony niece. But I don't, I don't care for either one of them. I mean, if anything, Tony niece of course won. Missy seen the ending of that match, right? Yeah. So she knows what happened. I don't. Yeah, because uh, Buddy Murphy tried to cheat by trying to grab um, Norm's daughter's legs, but it didn't work, so he turned around, and then um, Norm's daughter kicked him in the back of the head. And then, well, because what happened before that was um, Tony niece was being, you know, being uh, with the ref because he got this you know, over in the corner, that's what happened with that. But then afterwards, as he had his back turned, after he kicked uh, Buddy Murphy in the back, uh, Tony Nese got, knocked him with his leg and that and got him down and pinned him. Yep. So that was that match. And then the next match of 205 Live to see is Akira to to Towaza yep. and Brian Kendricks versus a local talent. Yeah, it's local talent team. Yeah. Like a pretty much nobody type. <coughs> yeah, nobody. It's like nobodies. It's like a dummies. Like it's they're... like it's like pretty much a tag team from one of those little wrestling things, usually whatever. Yeah. But and then you had Jack Gallagher and your Gulak looking backstage at the monitor like, Ugh, really? Ugh. Yeah, English freaking dude. Yeah, she doesn't like Jack Gallagher. No, I don't like either one of them. But um. Tier Tawaza, up right catch of one, of course, local talent. Unless you're the Miz and you lose against local talent. Right, Miz? Yeah, one, two, three. <laughs> but that was that. I think there was a thing with, it was like uh, Drake Maverick, he was talking. I couldn't really hear it too well, he was saying. But he was saying something backstage. Then it popped up saying that Hideo Tommy returns next week. Mm -hmm. So I guess he's coming back. That's good. And then, ooh, the next one. You see Lucha, 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 Lucha House Party oh, coming out. And they're getting ready, for, well, the one's getting ready for the match. Grand Mantelik. And, <laughs> oh, great. And then <sighs> the Mike and Alex music comes on, and it's Maria. And she's like, mm, 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 and points out, and here comes Mike and TJP. They're coming wearing the mask on their face, and then whatever. They're coming down, and then um, they're all fighting it out in the ramp, and then Drake sends all in to try to split them up, and then Drake sends all of them in the back, so it's just Grand Metalik versus TJP in the match. And of course they have a fair match. They're, they're doing it well. Grand Mantelique actually won. He beat TGP. Yeah. And then of course, and then the house party come out to celebrate. And then Drake, well Maria, coming out and goes, saying, "How could you? How could you? I have a family. I have a family." Well, and, uh, the pee hound, whatever you want to call him. Yeah. And whatever. And Drake's um. Drake 
trying to calm her down, focusing more on her, making a distraction, because that's what Maria was doing. She was doing a distraction for Mike to sneak and hit with a chair, and TJP and Mike are just attacking them, and then they come out, and they're laughing at them in the ring, like, ha, 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 ha. Yep. So, yeah, that's pretty much was 205 yep. Live. And now, now we got NXT. 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 And well, I know Missy's happy because she got her Nikki Cross. Because she asked, yes. she asked if she was gonna be on the night, and she was. And then we have mostly talking about what happened at War Games, the two matches, and then regular dude, and then Lars Sullivan, not a lot. But anyway, to start off, um, with a match was Keith Lee. First, Fidel Bravo. He looked, uh, for, so I'm sorry, but he looked like the same guy that was on 205 Live in the local talent group. I swear, it thought it was. I could be wrong, but I swear it was the same one. It's possible. But anyway, Keith Lee won, of course. He did his move on him and won. He's silver in a ring, whatever. Whatever. And, um,. And I went to a next match. Which is Lars Sullivan versus a local talent. Another local talent. Yeah, it's like, what's Local going talent on? week. Yeah, like, what's going on here? What is it, too many people are on uh, vacation for and uh, Thanksgiving? Maybe. But, um, anyway, Lars, Lars Sullivan won, like, with ease, because, of course. And then he's, he's talking, he's saying, that was an example until he gets what he wants, an NXT championship. Just so he knows, so everybody knows his point, he just kept attacking the guy he went against. And then Keith Lee comes out, he's coming, he does a bounce to Sullivan, Lars is leaving, looking, they're looking at each other like this, and the commentator's like, it's like Godzilla and First King Kong. <laughs> Okay, oh, who's, God Z who's Godzilla? Lars? Mm. Who's King Kong? Keith? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be a weird, that'd be a but, strange um, match. Uh, yeah. You know, one's gonna bang on their chest and the other one's gonna go rawr rawr? I don't know, but, um, yeah, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say. And then, um, then they're... Then they were talking about the Gargano and Black match. Mm -hmm. well, I wore games pretty much just showing what the match was and just talking about it pretty much. Okay. And they were just talking about it. And then um, backstage was Keith and Sullivan in the back. And just about they were to collide, the rest stopped them. And they made it for next week. Keith Lee versus Lars Sullivan. Yeah. Which, what I was saying, Lars wants a championship title, right? And he, he's going to be coming to the main roster soon. So maybe they're going to have him lose to the Gopher title and lose so he's in the main roster? Or what is he going to do? What are they going to do? I don't know. Whatever. It's all confusing. And then, then after that, they're talking about another NXT War Games match, the actual War Games, talk about what happened there, showing it, and whatnot. That was that. And then the main event was Nikki Cross mm -hmm. versus Candice LeRae, which was funny. I was like, who's this girl's name? And it ended up being uh, the title right there. Her name, course. and I'm like, really? Yeah, it's kind of like a perfect little angel looking prima donna looking girl and coming out. Yeah, it looks like a gothic type girl versus a Barbie doll. <laughs> yeah, with wings? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Pretty much. I'm guessing that's Johnny Gargano's wife. I think that's why I keep hearing. Probably is. But, of course, they're having their match. And then, close to the end, Nikki Cross was laughing and Candace is like, why are you laughing? What? And then they're just, she's punching her. And then, um, Nikki had her, picked her up, put her on a rope, and did like a twist drop on Nikki oh, yeah. Cross. So. And I'm back. Oh, two pauses. But yeah. this is okay. This little kabooning. 
But what I was saying, yeah, Nikki Cross had Candace LeRae on the top rope, and she put, and did like a twist up in one, in one, and pretty much her crazy victory, what she was, and like this, smiling, you know, happy, and pretty much anything like that, pretty much. So, um, let us know, like, yeah. did, 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 did you enjoy 205 Live NXT? What did you like on 205 Live? Did you like with Tony Nese? Uh, the TJP and Mike and Alice thing. Are you excited yeah. for Hideo Tommy returning next week? Um, with the Kyo Tawaza and Brian Kendrick. Um, now on NXT. Are you excited for Lars Sullivan and Keith Lee next week? Are you, uh, did you like Nikki Cross? Um... Pretty much something really say about I see because it really was nothing really. It was pretty much two things. But um I don't know if anything else to say it was okay. If anything. Yeah, it was it was enjoyable, especially seeing Nikki Cross. Yeah, well on that one. But then no but, Lars? Um, I don't know, Lars. He's pretty good. He, yeah, he's so is Keith. He's pretty good too. They're both so they and whatnot. So let us know if you want to hear from you WWE fans out there. Yeah. And Leave some not? comments, so, like, so, what do you If you really like NXT or 205, or you just only like um, SmackDown and Raw, you know? Yeah, so, um... Or do you, yeah. or do you have any like, any other wrestling shows do you think that we might, you know, might be something you think that might be good for us to watch? Yeah. So, make sure you like, comment, comment subscribe!